What is going on, y'all? Travis here, back with another episode of Grey's Anatomy, Season 5, Episode 11. Let's get into it. We all get at least one good wish a year over the candles on our birthday. Some of us throw in more on eyelashes. Oh, she's still in there? She's still with the wind machine? Lucky stars. And every now and then, one of those wishes comes true. Oh, I don't want to go to work. No, Christina with the mean face. No lives to save. A quickie? Mm, definitely not a quickie. <laughs> <laughs> so what then? Is it as good as we'd hoped? Do we bask in the warm glow of our happiness? Or do we just notice we've got a long list of other wishes waiting to be wished? Long wishes waiting to be wished. What? Oh. O'Malley, the pit career. Got a birthday in the house. Surgery. Gang, Gray, wait for the sheep to trot. Vey, what? Yes, both of you. I don't know what. I don't know why. Just go. Y'all still ain't friends? What do you got? Take a look. Oh, we have Caldwell us in the prison? Yeah. You read up on our VIP? Yes. Mm -hmm. Multiple stab wounds, badly beaten. Cuffs stay on, leg irons stay on. Watch your syringes, sharps, and pins. I don't want any accidents. You four of my team, no interns. I want to keep this as quiet as possible. Get him in and out quickly, patch him up, and get him on his way. Oh, sir, it's not PDR. What is PDR? Prisoner, death row. Oh. <laughs> How's everybody doing this morning? Oh, shit. Can you hear me? You have a lovely voice. We need a trauma series. Oh. I hate to be a bother, but my, my leg really hurt. We checked your legs. We didn't find anything. We should add T-spine and L-spine films. If I wasn't stabbed in the leg, where does it feel like I was? You know, the less you talk, the more we can work. Derek. Ooh, that's okay. It'll warm up as we get to know each other. We're not that different, you and I. People are alive when they meet us. It all changes somehow. What the fuck? Hi there. What are you doing? I'm saying hello. My best friend made one simple request, and I not get anywhere near you. It was fantastic. You're fantastic, but Thank it's not you. gonna happen again, ever. Lies, lies. I'll believe it when I see it, or when I don't. Ow, 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 ow. I think you broke your hip. Are you kidding me? What are you talking about? Last month, I tripped on the sidewalk and I cracked a rib. In April, I fell in the shower and I broke my arm. January, broke two fingers doing yoga. This is my yoga. sixth break in a year. Can I tell you what? How about we call ortho, have him run a few tests? Might be a little more satisfying than shouting to the heavens. Thank you. Jackson. Prescott, you shut up again. No, I didn't. T well, then why do you look so big? Because you're short. I've always been <laughs> short. You grew up. Why don't you take Melinda through today's procedure? Yeah, no problem. Jackson's had 12 bowel resections. Dr. Kentley calls me anytime Jackson's here. She works like a maniac to make sure that that beautiful boy has health coverage. This is a special family. We do whatever we can to help. It's really not necessary. It yet. is necessary. We'll take good care of your kid. Thank you. Now let's talk about the surgery. Are you gonna let me have a lollipop this time? My stomach's not so bad right now. So how come I'm about to cut a piece out of it again? Give me one of the lollipops, and if I keep it down, we don't have to do the operation. I'm not. I'm... Dr. Kenley? Jack, hit the blue button. Right behind you, hit the blue button. What? Oh my god. What happened? He just fell over. At least you're in the right Sir, place. It looks like Jordan Kenley just had a massive coronary. He was gone before he hit the deck. He died? She probably want to speak to you, the wife, hear something reassuring. He'll be missed, honored colleague, decades of service. So are you in there? So I have to tell Alex about us. Us, us? That's a, that's a bad idea. That is monumentally bad. You know about him. And if I could off him, I would. But he's the moody, broody one, whereas I am the mature and... Dad, you're dead. I'm happy when I'm with him. Don't you want me to be happy? Yes, there isn't anything in this universe that I want more. Then why can't I have you both? Because that's what makes me happy. He's going to think you're a whack job. Yeah. He me. Yeah. That he loves me. That's a huge deal for him. The least I can do is be honest. Sorry about your doc. Whatever. Dr. Kenley was going to sign this before he died and everything. Can you? What is it? I want to get a wish from the wish people. You have to have a doctor sign it. No. <laughs> not signing that. Don't look at her. She's not going to sign it either. If you sign, you can help me pick my wish. Go on a circus trapeze or be on a rodeo. There's no way Kenley was going to sign that. That's for kids with life-threatening diseases. You're not dying. You're just sick. Dude, the rodeo smells like horse crap. You're not missing anything. I think we've got a parathyroid tumor for you to remove. Did I just hear tumor removal? Do you need any help? Sure. No. Or fine, but you'll watch. You're not touching anything. Uh, <laughs> she's up in ultrasound. Call and see if they took her yet. 
you slept with her? Absolutely not. Only once. She came to my hotel room, took off all her clothes, and said, teach me. <laughs> she violated me God, with nakedness. Kelly is a smile. Kill me. Well, you shouldn't have been alone with her. Never gonna happen again. Mind-blowingly fantastic as it was. Hey, you are a professional. Hey, hold on. Um, hold tight. Just a bit lint. Um, ultrasound's backed up. They said they'll have results in half an hour. All right. Uh, we'll tell, uh, tell Gray. And um, let uh, what, uh, George, Doctor jo Doctor O'Malley, know when. Uh, let him know. Let him know when you know. Okay. It's, did you see that? That was not in my head, right? I'm telling you, these interns are out of control. Sexed up stalkers. Arizona Robin. Or hiding behind him. I see you're assisting with Jackson Prescott. You know, all due respect to Dr. Kenley, but you know, I'm surprised that he followed this course of treatment for so long when it wasn't working. <laughs> Kenley was sure that if we kept doing what we were doing, Jack's case is quite severe. Jack's son. If you're suggesting that we were torturing him with useless procedures... A lot of senior ped surgeons believe that strictioplasty works. <laughs> so we'll go with it today. We should start exploring other options. I'll see you in the OR. Uh, she's she's in a lot cute. of pain. I'm not sure She why. had, like, good Ooh, energy. You, you know, you know when someone, wait someone wait walks in and they automatically have, like... His right lower extremity. According to him, he could just, tell you anything. She seemed sunny. We pushed down a morphine. He shouldn't be in this much pain. Let's just wait for the films. No, I, I, I think this is a waste of time. I hate to agree with Yang, but I agree with Yang. Dr. Gray. Dr. Shepard. What's that? Whatever they stabbed him with is still in there. Does it, that mean I'm paralyzed? <laughs> my execution date is in the week. If I'm paralyzed, my lawyer might be able to make a case for staying my execution. Do you think you could let me be a gimp? No. Is the chief in there? I need to see him. We're both going to be disappointed. Well, what exactly is he doing in there? Ever since he heard about Jordan Kenley, he's been in there and he wants to be alone. I need to see him. Hmm. It's impinging on the spinal cord. He ain't got Can't time for you today. Through. We'll do everything by the book. I don't want some lawyer keeping him alive on the basis that we did not give him the standard of care. He's still a person. Mm -hmm. We can't judge. No, but a jury can. Death row. I can't believe we're wasting time debating this. Do a repeat crit and let me know if he needs blood. I don't like when those two are fighting. I thought they were friends. They were. Now you and I are in for a very, very long day. You know each one's got a mass murder. I think one of them will pay the guy to off the other. It's weird, right? Them fighting. There's something that I need to talk to you about, and I want you to know that I know it sounds weird. You breaking up with me? No, not at all. Though that's not a bad idea. I see Denny a lot lately, around here and at the house. Are you okay? Because that sounds kind of white. All right, whatever. And that's it? I don't know. Tell him I said hi. Mr. Don, are you feeling any better? Uh, I'm still in a lot of pain. Oh, we're going to get that thing out of your back as soon as we can. You're on the cord. She's kind of a bitch. Uh, not, not to use coarse language, but she is. She's my friend. Really? We had a fight. Huh. It will really help us when we take it out if... Uh, we know what that thing in your back is. I'm pretty sure it was a toothbrush. Shank you. How did it end up in your spine? Got in a fight with a friend. <laughs> Got stabbed in the back, literally. Hey lady, can you help me? You feeling okay? You see, I'm gonna get a wish from the wish people, but I'm having trouble deciding which wish to pick. Um, ooh, how about a trip to China? That sounds cool. I get air sick. Well, how about the rodeo? Some guy said it smells like poo. What the hell are you doing? Stars and X's, dude, we're picking wishes. He's not even eligible. You're a little scammer. You're fake dying. I want to go to the rodeo. Y'all are going to feel bad if he really like does. Cool. Nice try. Come on, let's get you prepped for surgery. You told him. Stop worrying. Yeah, until he walks in on her hump in there because she thinks it's a damn plan. ghost. Margaret, uh, the tumor's benign and it's not hard to remove. A parathyroid tumor tells your body to leach the calcium out of your bones. That's why you've had so many fractures. This is good news. I've been living like an old lady. Don't take the stairs. I gave up running, skiing, and I knit. And I hope that the knitting doesn't break a finger, all because of a tumor? A tumor that's benign. Come on! There was a guy. I fell in love with the most amazing guy. He was sweet, kind. And he had to move to Denver. And he wanted me to move with him. And I didn't because Denver is icy. So I lose my guy and I break all these bones. From a bone-sucking tumor? From the lab, Dr. Sloan. Did you need something else? This is torture. Focus. Crab, can you pull the retractor more? More like that? Yeah, great. Mm. Damn, look at this. It's a mess. He's gonna have maybe 10 centimeters of bowel when we're done here. Can't we try a Bianchi procedure, see if we can save more of it? I mean, there's no saving anything. It, yeah, but what Dr. We... Bailey, this kid should have been on a transplant list a year ago. I mean, it's a miracle he's still alive. What are... 
Don't let him die. What are you doing? I'm not seeing anyone today, Bailey. Kinley has been replaced with an infant on roller skates named Arizona. She's completely changing Kinley's treatment protocol based on, like, half an hour experience with child. I mean, we just took out most of his bowel. She just wants to throw up her hands and pray for a transplant. The, the, the child hasn't eaten solid food in months. His liver shot it. It's a serious case. Now, we need someone who can handle it. Dr. Bailey, you thought Shepard was just a haircut. You didn't like Han. And you think Dr. Sloan is a hussy? Can you name any attending that you thought was good? I've always been a fan of your work. Arizona Robbins was top of her class like you, and she was chief resident like you, and she's the best anyone's seen in a long time, just like you. We don't have anyone else deal with it. He seems grumpy. Grumpy, grumpy chief. What's that for? Seems like you're short of a friend today, so I thought I'd fill in. Colleagues aren't friends, they're competitors. So, does that mean you're not gonna drink this coffee? No, I'll, I'll drink the coffee. MRI. He's got brain contusions on top of everything else. Mr. Dunn is still in a huge amount of pain. Mr. Dunn has had enough morphine. Oh, right, he's got a foreign body lodged in his Trying spine. to make him suffer. No, killing people is inhumane. Denying in painkillers is a judgment call. What's wrong with you? I watch people die all the time. I go to families and I tell them their world has been ripped apart all the time. Then some guy like Dunn comes along and simply throws it away. Life? Then he's got the nerve to tell me that he and I are two sides of the same coin. You're not. He doesn't need morphine. But she's exquisite. And it's not just the sex. We talked for hours and laughed. It's just the sex. Yeah, you're gonna tell me you're not thinking about Sadie? <laughs> No, I cannot have another stupid romantic <laughs> disaster in this hospital. It's embarrassing. <laughs> All right, you know what? We need to find something else to think about. Bang each Let's other. Try. Nope, not working. Nope. You guys are oh, over okay. it. Over We're being like each addicts, other's right? buds. We need a 12-step program. It'll just be us. We'll be each other's sponsors. Make sure we stay on the program. She what are the so steps? Cute. Don't get naked with an intern. It's more of a one-step program. Maybe I should write this down. Yeah. Hey, Christina, can you mention that it's Izzy's birthday today? Alex should do something about it. I know, Lois Bag. I got it under control. Is he here? Who? Oh. Your friend. No, oh, he's not here. Well, if he shows up, tell him I'll share my girl, but not my sandwich. This Ooh. thing costs four bucks. <laughs> oh, I'm done here. Dude from MRI was all freaked out about death row guy. What did he do? He probably found his wife in bed with a hooker and a handyman. They don't give you the death penalty for crimes of passion. All crimes are crimes of passion. There's always a reason. People don't do stuff like that because they forget it's illegal. When you kill her, is it gonna be a crime of passion? Still hasn't blown over? No, it's not a big deal. We had a fight. She took it too far, that's all. Hey, I'm just scream or kill someone while I'm leaning towards killing someone. It's working. Oh, gotta draw that much. line sometimes, right? Uh, thank you for... Whatever it was you gave me. Is there a, a family or someone who should know you're having surgery? Well, we can't call your family. I think what she's trying to ask you is, what did you do to get on death row? That was not what I was asking. That's an obvious question. Couldn't you Google it? One Monday, I slit this woman's throat. I'd been thinking about it for a while, dreaming about it. And on Monday, I just I had to do it. I just really wanted to draw a knife across her neck. I thought it would be terrifying or, or sad or something but it wasn't it was just kind of fun creeper so i did two more on tuesday another two on wednesday i was gonna go for three on thursday because i liked the alliteration but i got caught so i didn't i get some jello or is that bad before surgery read the sign it's told to ignore the sign well don't bailey told me i'm gonna kill that woman look i uh i know Kenley, all that well, but it's got to be tough. Losing a co-worker you worked with for a long time? Jordan Kenley was a son of a bitch. He was competitive, insecure, aggressive. I won't miss him for a minute. So, is this about your mortality? <laughs> I'm not worried about me dying or Jordan Kenley dying. I'm worried about my hospital dying. I made some calls to replace Kenley. No one wants to come here. I can't keep a cardiac surgeon on staff. Burke quit Han, quit Dixon's autistic. The whole place Rude. flooded. The interns are literally chopping each other into little pieces. No wonder we're number 12. I feel that the one thing I spent my whole life doing failed. It'll get so better. So I'm gonna stay right, right here on this table until I find a way to walk the halls without cringing. Aren't you supposed to give me that rouse and get back on the horse lecture? I've got to stitch a serial killer back together today. I don't have a rousing lecture in me. We're gonna need a strategy. No uh, casual glances over the shoulder, no 
This is interesting. Can I ever see? As soon as Margaret's tumor's out, we'll have them take it to pathology to get it analyzed. <laughs> Go team. Break. I love their friendship. I love it. They still not speak. Doesn't look like it. Two hours in an ice cave. Onward and upward. Um, <clears throat> I don't think I was clear earlier. It is not like a dream. I see Denny when I'm awake. This is because I said I loved you. You're freaked out. I'm not. You're a little freaked out. We still do stuff together. Sex stuff. I see him and we have sex. There's nothing wrong with a good fantasy. I mean, I'd rather you fantasize about me. Whatever. You really don't care? You're trying to work something out. I mean, people die and then the other people get messed up about it. I've been competing with that tool for a long time. Ooh. But I'd say he's kind of got the handicap now. Is he here? Can he see me do this? Yeah, dude. I can see you. And this? Uh-huh. Is he still here? I think you should go. Yeah, I got things to do. Uh, can you see him now? No, he's gone. Don't stop. What about now? No, don't stop! <laughs> the way she said that. No, don't stop. Wow, sharp. No wonder he was complaining so much. He wasn't complaining after he got 10 extra morphine. And it made him much more comfortable. Doesn't bother you that this guy probably hacked a family of four to death with a machete? A knife and women, not a family. Five women. It's what he likes. He shouldn't even be on this case. What's he gonna do, jump off the table and get us? You're the one holding the knife. Damn. Did you see the Seahawks game last week? You know, I am the jealous type. I know, I'm sorry. I can't choose. Please don't make me choose. Are you gonna make me? I can't do anything that would make you unhappy. Choose you what? Know that. He's a fucking ghost. I love you. That's what you tell all the guys. You know, today is my birthday. I do know that. You gonna get me a present? I think I just did. Did you? Why is she shaking her head? Jackson's post top LFGs. This kid needs to be put on the transplant list today. I think we should get another opinion. Norman McHale at Hopkins, head of pediatric surgery. When he tells you that Jackson needs a transplant, which he'll do about two minutes into the call, put him on the list. You've been second guessing me from the moment I arrived, and I get it. I'm a stranger with a ponytail, but I'm not the problem. The patient is. Jackson needs a transplant. And if we keep wasting time, he's not gonna make it. I can't with these two. You okay? Want to get a drink or something? Oh, now we're on again? Because the mood suits you? I, I don't... No, usually I can deal with the hot and cold thing, but not today. Just leave me the hell alone. I mean, that does have to get frustrating. I'm sure. Is that him? You ever find out what he did? Doesn't matter what he did. He did something really bad, and he's going to pay for it. You want to get a drink? I'm not in the mood. You know, you and I had a fight like this once. What? Amsterdam. We used to be as close as you and Christina, and then Amsterdam happened, and you shut me down, and we never got past it. We'd go dancing, go someplace loud, where we don't have to talk, and it's okay, I'm a, I'm a rolling star, and I bounce. But you're about to do the same thing to Christina, and that girl mates for life. If you don't make it right, she'll never talk to you again. I apologized to Christina. Like you meant it. Like you could imagine she had a point. I miss you. As my friend, I miss you. Now, transplants aren't easy, but you've got a crackerjack new doctor. I spoke to one of the most respected kid surgeons in the country, and he thinks that she's the best there is. She's going to take good care of you. We all are. Emma, why don't we go out and um, uh, sign some of the transplant consent forms? Stars Nexus. Alex is going to break my heart. Looking good, Margaret. The surgery couldn't have been smoother. When could I get out of here? You're young, you'll heal fast. Eager to get home? I'm going to Denver. Yes. We did good work today. If we stay strong. We don't get drunk. Keep staring at Joe. We'll be fine. Hi. You chain clean? <laughs> cool. Cool, cool. OK, you, you weirded me out. You only live once. You can't waste it. No, no, Mark. Sorry, kid. I'm going to Denver. Mark, no! No! Oh. Ah. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it! You need another drink? Yes. Bro. She's all right, Arizona Robbins. Mm-hmm. Her name's for real Arizona. I don't know if the patient's gonna make it. Don't cry. We don't wish for the easy stuff. We wish for big things, things that are ambitious, out of reach. Let's take a look. Oh, he's got 10. He's got about 
two guys shot my dad for his watch. My mom saved up for it. Two guys came into a store and they shot him because he wouldn't give it up. That's how my dad died. We are supposed to treat everybody the same, but they're not all the same. I'm sorry. It's a bad day all around, I guess. Wish I could make things better with you and Christina. I wish you could too. I try to think what she would do in a situation like this, but I don't know. Well, she would uh, turn the music up pretty loud and she would dance it out with me, but I don't think you want to go there. Well, uh, let's see what we got here. Ooh. Ooh. Woo! Yeah! Look out! Hey, come on, get up! Get your ass over here. I'm not doing this by myself. Oh my god. Such a good dancer. What is he doing? We wish because we need help and we're scared. And we know we may be asking too much. Oh my god. You made it. Cake tastes kind of funny, but the frosting's pretty good. It's beautiful. It's a nice gesture, him baking for you. Make a wish. When did Alex Karev get so What if I don't have sweet? anything to wish for? What if I have everything I could ever want? We still wish, though. Then wish that nothing changes. Because sometimes they come true. What wish? It's going to come true. This, that whole that whole storyline, that whole Izzy Denny, it's stressing me out, man. It's starting to stress me out a little bit. I love this show. I like this new Arizona person. I wonder if she's just going to like hop in. You know, because sometimes I feel like they bring people in and then it's like, where the fuck did they go? <laughs> but we'll see. I dig it. I can't wait to see what happens next. Mark Sloan, you're, you, you better be careful with a little baby gray there. With Lil Gray, you better be careful now. I love Bailey. Have I ever said that? Did you have y'all ever heard me say that before? Just in case you needed a reminder. I love Bailey. See you on the next one. Bye bye.